Hey, it's Scott from the Production Academy. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I mic a guitar amplifier on stage. And I'll show you an example where we actually have two guitar amplifiers going at the same time for the same guitar player. So I took some footage from a show I did recently with a band I work for quite a bit called The Hold Steady. And one of their lead guitar players is a guy named Steve Selvage. Phenomenal, phenomenal guitar player. And he uses two guitar amplifiers for his setup in this band. And I'll show you which mics I'm using and to tell you about some of the issues that come up when we have two guitar amplifiers going for the same guitar player at the same time. So I will show you that footage, but first I just wanna talk through some of these issues with two amplifiers. Whenever we have two inputs for the same sound source, and that could be a snare top and snare bottom mic, or a kick drum in and kick out mic, or even like a bass DI and a bass mic, we do have to worry about the phase relationship between these two inputs. Now, I know we can't really see waveforms like we can in recording software like Pro Tools, but just to demonstrate, let's say that this top waveform represents one of the guitar amplifiers and the bottom waveform represents the other guitar amplifier. And if the waveforms lined up like this, they'd be canceling each other out and it wouldn't really sound all that great. So this could happen just because maybe one of the amplifiers is wired out of phase from the other, or maybe one of the microphone cables is accidentally wired out of phase, who knows? Um, but like I said, you can't really see this, so you're gonna use your ears. And if the waveforms were canceling out, sound would sound pretty thin and not that great. So what we would do is reverse the polarity on one of the guitar channels, and then the, these waveforms would line up much better and we'll have a much more solid sound. So here for this setup, for Steve's setup, we do have two amplifiers and two microphones. So let's go to the footage from the show so I can show you exactly what those look like. All right, so we're looking at my friend Steve Selvage's guitar setup here, and he's using two amps, a Mojo Tone and an Epiphone Blues Custom. Uh, his tone is kind of a combination of the two amps, and it really does sound better with two amps than one. So we put a mic on each one. Uh, for the top amp, I'm using the E609 from Sennheiser. And for the bottom amp, I'm just using the SM57 from Shure. Now the SM57 is such a classic, classic mic. It really gets a good classic guitar sound pretty much on any amp you use it on. But I find the combination of these two mics really kind of captures the overall tone of his, of his guitar and helps me at front of house just get a bigger, bigger sound. So when I mic guitar amps live, it's a little different than the studio. For the studio, you don't necessarily want your microphone right up on the speaker because you know you can get a little bit different tone if you change the angle or change the distance from the speaker but in live sound to help get separation between the guitar amp and everything else on stage I like to get the mic right up on the speaker cone especially with the 57 I put it right up in the middle of the speaker cones facing straight in it ends up being a little brighter than maybe an ideal tone, but I compensate with that with EQ. And I find that the separation I get by having such a close mic sound is worth it. And using EQ is a totally fine way to compensate. So there is a lot to think about and it does get tricky when you're using two amplifiers on the same instrument. Uh, if you have a microphone on each amp, you do have to use your ears and listen to make sure those microphones sound good together. And if you're getting a bad phase relationship between those two mics, if they're canceling each other out a lot, try flipping the polarity on one of those mics to see if it improves the sound. Now, quite often, I'll use two microphones on the same amplifier, and it's a little easier to get the good phase relationship between those two microphones doing it that way. Uh, a lot of times I'll use a ribbon mic and an SM57, and if I put them on the same speaker and line up the diaphragms very carefully so that the ribbon mic diaphragm and the SM57 diaphragm are right next to each other, that sound source, that one speaker, is gonna hit those microphones at the exact same time and get really good phase relationship between those two microphones. So that's how we did the guitar for this show. In the next video in this series, we're gonna look at the bass. I'm gonna show you some footage from the very same show and how we used a DI in addition to a microphone to get a really nice, powerful bass sound. So that's coming up in our next video. Until then, hope you're having a great day. Bye.